All right, guys, here we break it down this rider from Amari Cooper. We're going to be talking about how he's able to change direction so fast and actually sell this slant, okay? So the number one thing when you're running a slant out route is that you got to make sure you get this DB to commit. So everything about this route has to look like a slant. So your eyes have to commit to the slant. Your hips and your shoulders have to commit to the slant. And you have to be in full stride and you have to be running full speed because those three things will make a DB commit. What a lot of guys will do in either they're running a sluggo, they're running a whip route, they're running a slant out, whatever it may be, is that they'll chop their steps right here. They'll commit their hips, they'll commit their shoulders, but then they'll chop their steps. Or what they'll do is that they'll start to turn too early with their shoulders and those hips. And that's a full indicator to this DB of what you're going to be doing. So Cooper does such a great job of fully committing, being in full stride. Everything about this looks like a slant route, a drag route, whatever we're trying to set up. Now, the only way I'm able to change direction right here is by being violent with my hips. So when you slam your hips down and you're violent and you actually drop to this low explosive position, it serves to do two things. That's what puts the brakes on. That's what allows you to stop on a dime. You get to this low explosive position, allows you to decelerate, but also that explosive position allows you to drive out and accelerate back to the ball.